God is your father, you would have realized that he is the father you can absolutely rely on. Not like your earthly father. Not like any other entity. Nothing compares to the love of God towards his own children. Nothing and nothing and nothing. And so if it's your father, sleep in his hands. I am not talking about indolence here. I am talking about active realization of the wonderful love of God that I can swim in and be secure. Today we are going to read Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7. Isaiah 7, verse 7. Thus says the Lord God, It shall not stand, nor shall it come to pass. This was a gang, a gang up against the children of God. This one joined this one, the other one joined this one. God said, what is this thing? Don't fear them. Leave it. Whatever they are doing shall not stand. It shall not come to pass. So many of those who ganged up perished because of their gang up. Relax. There have been all manner of rising up against the children of God in the scriptures from Genesis all the way down to Revelation. There's no way you won't find people attempting to destroy the house of God, attempting to do evil to the children of God. They never succeeded. As late as Paul, that people ganged up against him, wanted to kill him because he had converted from Judaism to Christianity. And he was actively preaching Christ. Even garrisons who rise up against him. But was anything able to kill him? No. Even the ordinary things of nature rose up against him. The sea was adverse to him. He had a shipwreck, but did he die? No way. He left the wrecked ship and went and sat with other people warming himself in the fire. Snake came out of it, beat his hand. Did anything happen to him? Nothing. Even the people shouted that he must be a god. How can this particular snake hit him and nothing happens? Because as the scripture says, they were expecting him to swell. And they found that he's of the nature that cannot swell. There is a special nature that God has given to you. That evil cannot exact over you. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego thrown into fire. Fire could not burn them. Fire could not even burn their clothes. Didn't touch their hair. Didn't touch the hairs on their body. And they were brought out of the fire. The same people that threw them in were thrown into the same fire. Fire burnt all of them, no trace. I am talking about the kind of thing that God does for you. The special coverage that makes you impregnable. Daniel was thrown to lions. Lions slept. They didn't even make a whimper. No noise, nothing. And Daniel slept in there till morning. Very hungry lions, none touched him. They lowered the rope down, brought Daniel out. The people who connived against him were thrown into the same den. As the scripture says, they did not get to the bottom of the pits. Because the lions caught them mid-air. What am I saying? If you belong to God, you are specially structured. The sickness comes. The epidemics, the pandemic, whatever you will call them. They come, they kill everybody. You have a special structure. You cannot be touched by that same thing. Those viruses that destroy cannot destroy you because your body is different. Even if they enter the body, they will find their way out. I am talking about those who are specially structured by God that whatever gangs up against you will fail. I mentioned that, Paul, from human beings to nature to, animal, to everything. He suffered shipwreck many times in his career as a preacher, but he never at any point was destroyed by them. You want to start talking about Elijah, Elisha? The Elijah had to say, if I be a man of God, let fire come down and destroy these soldiers who came against me. Or where Elisha had to pray, Lord, open the eyes of my servant to see that the soldiers without are far more than these ones that think they are coming against us. 
it will fail. If you were just standing and you saw a battalion of soldiers coming and they say they are coming to arrest you, you run or you make some noise. No way. Stand firm, except you don't belong to God. You have a special nature. Even the bullets will not penetrate you if they shot. I am talking about the persons who are endowed with a special nature from God. When you belong to him, he gives you a special nature. That's the bottom line. And somebody has gotten this special nature. And because of it, whatever comes against you will surely fail. And you will always triumph all the days that the Lord has given to you to live in this world. It is well with you, child of God, in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. It's